Blessings, blessings of yours. Welcome back to the channel. Watch, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Cop injured in Trelawney crash. Four cops attached to the Trelawney police escape with only minor injuries following a vehicle crash along the Duncans to Falmouth main road in the parish on Wednesday. Corporal Kirkland Cross of the traffic department told the news that the officers were heading to Falmouth around 7 a.m. when the vehicle picked up a skid and overturn. He said the officers were taken to hospital for observation. Yeah man, these officers were really and truly lucky to just walk away with just minor injuries. And we have to say thank God for that because it could have been worse. Believe it or not. It could have get worse. But viewers and subscribers God I got when God is working, he's working. Man gets three months in prison for escaping police custody. A man who escaped police custody to attend this his mother's funeral was sentenced to three months imprisonment when he appeared in the St. Catherine Parish Court on Tuesday. He is 50-year-old Horace Clark of Matverks Lane, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. On Tuesday, lawyer Dennis Einstein submitted the court that a non-custodial sentence would be appropriate for Clark as her client attends his mother's funeral and return to the police. Parish Court Judge Janelle Nelson Gale told the defense that she would be going against the sentencing guideline if Clark was not incarcerated. The judge advised that the maximum is two years imprisonment but given his age and the lawyer's submission, Clark wouldn't be benefit from a reduction. Clark was arrested on January 6th on a warrant for an expired motor vehicle certificate of fitness. While at the police station, he declared that his mother had died and he needed to attend her funeral. He later asked to use the bathroom and run out of the station compound. Well, my viewers and my subscribers, we can surely say he wasn't charged with any serious crime and what he did was something of warm-hearted he went and attended his mother funeral as he said retired nurse and golfer pearl phillips has died retired nurse and prominent golfer pearl phillips died sunday night she was 98 years of age her husband king's queen's council frank phipps said today that she died peacefully at home she was a dedicated nurse and gave young man service in jamaica where she was trained she later migrated to england to join her husband who was studying law while in england she was employed as a nurse on their return to Jamaica, she worked as a nurse at the Princess Margaret Hospital in Marambi, St. Thomas. She also worked at the Victoria Jubilee Hospital and the Kingston Public Hospital. Phipps described Pearl as a loving wife and a mother and one who was always ready and willing to help others. He said she was also an excellent golfer and was the captain of the female golf team at the Constant Spring Golf Club. Jamaica for two years. Prime Minister Andrew Olness opens four lane corridor of development in St. Thomas. Section of the Southern Coastal Highway from Arbor View to Yalas Bridge. Double a big deal. Prime Minister Andrew Olness on Tuesday opened the four lane highway from Old Arbor. From Arbor View to Yellows Bridge in St. Thomas, which he has doubled a corridor of development. 